Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119, that's 203-892-4119. So we have another Heathkit SB220 here. Guy bought it, had some issues with it, ended up sending it to me. So, I already grounded the grids in this one to the self-bias mod. I showed that in another video. I changed the electrolytic already. I always do that before I fire it up to check the filament transformer. So this one has some sort of modification where it puts a resistor in series with the primaries. I kind of like a soft start. It's not needed. You know, soft start's not needed in these things. Um, and also all of the current is carried through this switch, which isn't a good idea. It's not rated for the current. So um, the transformers are wound in a way that they limit the, the amount of surge, you know, the inrush. So, problem with the heart with the uh, soft start kit is if you ever have a fault or anything, it takes out those cement resistors. Then you, a lot of people can't change them themselves, so they end up having to send it to me. Um, I've never had to. Uh, I've worked on about 600 of these. I believe I've probably worked on more than anybody. Um, you know, I've never had to change a power switch, ever. So, okay, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in the Harbach metering board, you know, change the meter lamps. Their variables look good. Change the plate blocking cap, parasitic suppressors, already fired up the fans good. Transformer went down a little bit during shipping. That happens. The uh, the uh, floor is aluminum, but the rest looks okay. Change the filter caps, and um, I already showed the bottom before. So I'm gonna get to work. I already have kits put together. A lot of people think they come completed from Harbach, but they do not. They're actually kits, and I have to solder every component to the board. I just have to install the filter caps on this board and I have the soft key. Soft key and soft start are separate. This is what isolates the radio relay from the amplifier. You have a nut, uh, the RCA jack is switching you know you have a hundred uh, uh, negative 120 volts roughly at the RCA jack and modern transceivers can't handle that so the way this keys is the center uh, connection of the RCA jacks brought to ground so the radio keys this you know, switches this and then this switches the um, contact at the inside the amplifier the uh, the relay so I'm gonna get to work and I will be back Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. Here's the completed amplifier. I got rid of that limiter circuit for a soft start, like a manual soft start. Uh, all the current was going through the switch. It was an improper value resistor anyway, so that's out of there. Have to get this writing off, or the customer can. Um, as a standby operate switch, I'll go over everything I did inside. Zymac tubes are okay. Rewound new parasitic suppressors. New plate blocking capacitor. Air variables look okay. Tightened all the connections on the output network. Clean the output band switch, input rotary switch. I've seen people add muffin fans. Uh, you don't want to do that because it doesn't cool below the tube sockets. This cools the pins and it's it stops the pins from getting too hot and having the solder drip out if you know, depending on how the person's running it, uh, that can happen. New Harbach metering board. New filter cap board. Series glitch resistor. New meter lamps. I always bend these clips out when this is out. So if it's nice and snug, I actually put a thin layer of silicone on there to, you know, give it some extra uh, strength, you know, to stop it from popping out. 
they took the outer nuts off, tighten these nuts because these fiber washers break down over time. I just snug them up and I put it back to, you know, then I put the outer nuts back on. So that's all set. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with the bottom. I removed his wiring for the standby operate switch. Now it has Teflon wire. It was all, it had, uh, you know, he had connected it to the old wire, uh, the old blue wire going to the RCA jack and uh, heat shrunk, clear heat shrink, whatever, and just was all sorts of messy. So, changed the cap for the 90 volt winding where it's rectified. Got rid of that resistor, like I said, grounded the grids the right way. Has the soft keyboard. Touched up on solder joints. Did the self bias modification. Cleaned the TR relay with and bias relay with deoxy gold. He had uh, the bias, uh, I'm sorry, the center tap going directly to ground. Uh, you know, and that's, you know, to bias the. <laughs> To bias the tubes on and he had some other modifications I pulled all that out now it's done it's done the right way um, so now it's uh it's all set I also replaced the the uh, connection for the 240 wiring it wasn't it was just barely making connection under the screw so I made a new one and put it in there and uh, I think that's about it. Also check the SO239 connectors. So I got up at four o'clock this morning, got to work. I had a lot of it done already, so finished it up. Uh, one more thing, you know, because it has this long lead going to the switch, I added a piece of ferrite core here to stop RF from possibly getting back into the board. You know, I looped it around one time. Just, uh, you know, just extra just you know helps out so just in case so that's about it if you need an amplifier repaired feel free to give me a call I'm going through them one a day and uh, once I have all the parts Monday through Friday uh, call anytime if you need something done amprepairguy.com is my website my phone number is 203 892 4119. Take care.